Very good evening to you. It's the news no Wales fan wanted to hear, but this afternoon Gareth Bale has announced his immediate retirement from club and international football. Describing it as the hardest decision of his career in a statement released on social media just a few hours ago, Bale said he is humbled to have played a part in Welsh history. Tributes to this glittering contribution have been pouring in from the world of football and beyond. And our sports reporter, Matt Southcombe, is at the headquarters of the Football Association of Wales um, in Newport. Good evening, Matt. Well, it was always going to happen one day. What's the reaction been so far? Yeah, well, as you've alluded to, Andrea, there's, there's been a huge outpouring of tributes for everything that Gareth Bale did on the football field. Former teammate Neil Taylor saying the best players ever played with best player Wales has ever produced and the best player, uh, best British player to play abroad as well. If we were going to talk about his accomplishments and list them, we probably have no time to talk about anything else. Most capped Wales international men's player of all time, top goal scorer in that category as well. And he always delivered when his country needed him. I think that's probably the highest compliment that you could pay to him. You look at the goal against Andorra in 2014, if that didn't go in, there may, there may have been no Euro 2016 goal against Belgium later in that campaign. And of course, the goal against Ukraine, which sent Wales to its first World Cup in 64 years earlier this summer as well. As we mentioned, so many achievements and so many things that he did for his country on the football field. And here's what Laura McAllister, speaking earlier, said about him. Make no mistake, this is probably the greatest player that Wales has ever produced. And I'd say is the greatest player Wales has ever produced and he's given us fans and everybody who works in the world of football some of our most incredible experiences you know dreams that some of us had of going to a Euros to see Wales and going to a World Cup to see Wales that Gareth has been absolutely front and centre of getting us to those tournaments and I don't think any tribute can can be big enough. Well, what Laura said putting it all in context um, there but Matt's uh, why now? How do you assess the timing? Yeah, it's an interesting one. He's 33 years of age, which in footballing terms isn't usually around the time of the end. But he's been doing this since he was 16 years old, of course. So it's been a very long career for Gareth Bale at the very top of the game throughout that time as well. His, his style of play was based around speed and power. He put his body under serious strain, those muscles. We saw the injuries begin to pile up. I alluded to it there, he's been doing it for such a long time and it goes all the way back to his days at Tottenham where he was managed by Harry Redknapp, of course, who said this earlier. And every time he'd pick the ball up, he'd run 60, 70 yards with the ball and whack it into the back of the net or cross it or do something amazing. It was just an amazing talent. Really laid back, quite lad, quite shy. But when he got on the pitch and he got the ball off, he went. He was unstoppable. And people don't realise how big he is. I mean, he is a big lad. Well, we've heard a lot about his accomplishments already. How do you assess Bales' legacy? Well, obviously, you know... As I touched on earlier, Andre, he always delivered in big moments for Wales and, and he always put his country first as well, which is not something um, that has always been afforded to the Welsh national side. And sometimes it led to problems for him at Real Madrid as well, that well-publicised rift that developed between himself and the fans, despite winning five Champions League trophies, of course, during his time at the club. And every time Wales leaned on him, he always pushed back. And I think that's probably something that that regardless of all the tributes that will pour out over the next 24 and 48 hours for him, speaking solely from a Welsh perspective, that's probably the highest compliment you could pay him. And now, of course, looking to the future, I imagine there's probably a fair bit of golf in, it, in his immediate future. We know he, he loves a, a little dabble in that sport too. He's got other business interests as well. There's also a line in his uh, statement as well, which caught the eye, saying that he was stepping back, but not away from the team that lives in him, which was very interesting. I think Welsh fans might grab on to that because you've got a footballer there with serious football in IQ and if he can continue to tri contribute to the Wales national team in some way, shape or form, then I'm sure manager Robert Page would gladly accept it. As you say, perhaps uh, some more clues there in that statement. Matt Southcombe in Newport, thanks very much indeed.